Hello! For this video, I will be going over some basic art definitions that may be useful. Most of these definitions will focus heavily on color theory. I will begin by describing hue, which is basically the colors that you use. And for this video, I will be using color and hue interchangeably. When discussing hue and colors, you begin with discussing your primary colors, which are red, green, and blue. These colors cannot be made using any other color. They are the basics. When you mix these colors with each other, you get secondary colors, which include cyan, yellow, and magenta. You get cyan from mixing blue and green. You get magenta by mixing blue and red. And finally, when you mix red and green, you get yellow. And of course, once you get into more mixing, you get tertiary colors. Up next, there would be saturation, which is essentially the intensity of your hue. Bright red could be a very saturated color. Meanwhile, rust red is a desaturated color. Then we have contrast, which is essentially the difference between your colors. Black and white have high contrast, blue and yellow have high contrast, and so on. This is because blue and yellow are complementary colors, which means that on a circle of colors, they are opposite each other. Light colors and dark colors also have high contrast similarly to black and white. When you tint a color, you make it lighter using white. When you shade a color, you make it darker using black. When you tone a color, you desaturate it by adding gray. This lowers the contrast between your colors. Speaking of color schemes, there are complementary colors which are opposite each other. There are analogous colors, which are three colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel. And there are triadic colors, which, if you were to put a triangle on the color wheel, you would get a color for each point of the triangle. This results in each color being equally different from one another. Now, there are warm colors, red, orange, yellow, and there are cool colors, blue, purple, green. Outside of colors, there is also proportion, which is essentially the comparison between the sizes and the locations of different things within your piece. Things like comparing the length of an arm to the length of a leg Proportionately, they are not the same length. Now take this into consideration when you're talking about perspective, which is also the difference between sizes and locations of things, but depending on the difference between the item or the object and the viewer. The next definition I will go into will be medium, which is essentially the materials used to create your art. My medium is digital art, and so what would fall under that would be the programs that I use to create my art. For traditional artists, these can range from paper and pencil to even fabrics or the paints used. Up next would be composition, which is essentially how everything is put together, from organization to placement, and it's intended to achieve a balance within your artwork. Finally, I will go into subject, content, and form. Subject would be what is depicted literally, such as a woman on the beach side. 
form would be how this is depicted, such as the use of colors or lines. And finally, content would be the implied meaning behind the piece. Thank you all for listening, and I hope my definitions were simple enough to understand. I will see you guys soon in a new video. So, for now, goodbye.